Okay guys, welcome back to our sixth episode. We had to unfortunately ex extend the series, our second series, uh, because of some silly little bug that we came across yesterday. Uh, hopefully we can get things sorted in this episode. I have an idea on how to fix things. Uh, I'm not actually quite sure if this is actually going to work. But we are just going to go in to our Unity project and we're going to go and just do it and see if it works. Hopefully we get lucky. If not, we might have to scrap our pause and yeah, our pause menu, and maybe we'll do try and figure it out in maybe a later series when we, um, I don't know, maybe when we start doing some more complicated uh, games. But for now, let's go back. Let's go and jump into our our well, our Notion pad and see what we have to do. So yesterday we we came across. Okay, let me just log into here. I don't know why. This, Two seconds. Clearly, this has logged me out for some reason. Let's see if I can log back in with the right details. Hopefully, it works. Enter login code. Why do you these things sign you out? So unnecessary. Probably should have checked this before I started. Wait, what? We didn't find. It. Okay, so clearly I'm using the wrong account. Okay, let's see. So what am I using? Um. Continue with email. Um, okay, let's just sign in with Google. This is a lot maybe a lot easier. So hopefully this will work. Um, open Notion. Hopefully this is the right account. Uh, let's see if we get lucky. Okay, it is. But okay, so let's switch back onto it. So we got now back in our Notion pad, but so for some reason we are um, let's just check something quick. Uh, where do we go? Customize page, no. Hmm. Let's see. Trash templates, no. Settings, probably on settings. Maybe. Um, danger zone, what? Bear with me. Um, I could probably do this later because it's not really relevant, but there we go. Let's change that to dark. So, Okay, so now we're back to where we were. So let's go back to our season two which is our breakout game uh, and in yesterday's episode we started working on adding some more levels which we finished um, we also detect the when the level is finished and then load in our new level uh, we added in our score counter and our lives counter at the top of the screen um, and then we started working on our pause menu and this is where we found our little bugs so let's go ahead and open up unity which I have done already, um, just to save us some time again. So let us jump in. So at the moment, if we play our game, we get this bug that says there's a null reference exception on our game manager uh, because we don't have what line is this on? Line 55. Because apparently we don't have our pause panel. So what we're going to try and do and see if it works is we are actually going to. First of all, go out of our game mode, and then let's go ahead and create an entirely new script called um, pause. pause, let's see, pause manager, or no, let's say pause menu, no, pause manager, um, yeah, pause, yeah, we'll just say pause manager, anyway. it doesn't really matter what you call it, as long as you uh, reference it with the correct name, you should be fine. And then on our canvas and our pause panel, instead of having, where is it? Pause panel. Let's see, what's this? Okay, I don't know what that is, but oh, okay. So that's that is our that's our text, our pause menu. So if we get that rid of that, that disappears. So okay, we'll leave that like that. So on our pause panel. 
we are going to add in our pause manager script just like that and then we can go on to our game manager okay so we don't have any references on there so in our game manager script first of all let's just open our pause manager script like that okay so in here well let's go ahead and remove the stuff from the game manager first so what we need is we need instead of having our pause panel in here we're going to go ahead and get that inside of our pause manager so we'll copy that and put that in there so we can get rid of that from our game manager script then we can also get rid of this because we'll just drag and drop it in uh, we don't need to look for it using the tag because again we're just going to drag it into our inspector and then in our update we want to get rid of this here and here we're going to let's see if if it's paused okay show the pause menu so we're going to get rid of that and we're going to add that into our pause manager script and hopefully that will work um, and then let's see so let's go back into our pause menu pause manager and we'll uh, paste this into this update function but now we need to get we need to access our global script so let's go ahead and just copy in our our lines of code that we used for the other scripts because they're going to be the same we just don't we're just too lazy to um, retype it so we will need to drag that in later so we'll leave that as serialized field so we can access that from the inspector what else we need to copy in our global manager and our global script from our game manager into our pause manager and paste that in the start function so whenever the game starts we go ahead and set these set these um, uh, variables and then we also need our global manager tag string just so that we can access it through the tag and then we need to get rid of this game object because that is redundant and then what else do we need to do so if we save all of those and let's go into our pause menu now and let's say so what we're gonna do is we're actually going to remove our pause manager or should we actually we'll see if it works if we add it onto it so let's go drag these values in so our pause panel and then we want a global manager like that let's just see our global manager is the one that has a global script on it that is perfect so now let us see so if global script dot is paused then pause the panel okay perfect so in here we want to say so let's hopefully let's just go into our game and see what actually happens when we play let's see if we get any errors so hopefully we do not which we don't so that's promising so if we press escape nothing happens and we can't play our game okay so that's interesting so let's see if we restart it can we move our paddle okay so we can move our paddle which is fine and if we press escape and then try and move our paddle we can't so our game is being paused so that's fine let's see what's happening here so um if game if global script dot is paused then set active so this is still not being set active so what we could do is let's do this let's just get rid of this in here and try it a different way so we will go and create an empty object and call this pause um same as the, the the script so let's just say pause manager and then we will add the pause manager onto there and then we can go ahead and drag in our pause panel as well as our global manager just like that we can save that hopefully we'll see that working now so if we play our game press escape we get our pause menu um, which is fine we can no longer move our 
our panel uh, paddle okay so if we go back to our main menu okay we still have this bug so we need to go and fix that in the main menu so that should be simple so let's let's go ahead and fix that quick so the bug that we're getting in our main menu um, let's go to our menu scene so in game manager or uh, line 29 you can see here where is it game script okay let's play from our game menu shall we say okay so let's see do we get a bug oh we do so game manager online what line is it 29 apparently okay so we're not even in our game manager this is our game manager online 29 we are getting a global script so okay so this is a simple fix so in here we do not need access to our global script in this scene so what we can do um, is first of all let's go ahead and create a string I'll put it over here let's go private because we only need access to, access to it in this um, in this class so private string uh, let's call this scene name okay and then in our start function spell that right in our start function we want to go and say we want well, we want to get the scene name the active scene name so let's go scene name is equal to scene manager dot get active scene just like that dot name so what that's going to do is going to whenever uh, our scene loads up it's going to get the name of the scene and save it into our scene name string and then what we want to do on start we want to go and check if our scene name is not equal to um, well let's just say if our scene name is yeah is not equal to um, menu do we have that menu scene yeah there we go so if our scene name is not equal to our menu scene then we can go ahead and do that we can go ahead and find our global manager with the tag and then access the global script off of it so hopefully we get lucky and hopefully this works so if we play that let's see what happens hopefully we don't get an error so this should disappear which it does so that's perfect so if we access our game nothing happens because we're in, actually in the unity editor so when we build our game that will work but if we go ahead and play the game we get uh, sent to our game scene and in here our pause menu still works but we're going to add in another button that says resume game uh, if we go back to our main menu that works we can go back into it and we can start playing the game so that works so that's all looking good we can save that go back into our game scene now and then in our canvas we are just gonna um, enable that so we can see and then we want to add in an extra button and rename this to resume button just like that and then we can go ahead and move this up a little bit to about there maybe and then we'll just select all of them or well, just our buttons and then we're just going to drag them down a bit maybe to about there okay so let's go ahead and change the text of our, this of this button to resume game like that okay not okay well it doesn't really matter because they're all caps but let's just go and change that because I don't like that resume game like that so that's good so now what we want to do is we need to go ahead and create a function for this so let's see in our main menu we are doing that in the game manager so game manager update play game main menu let's go here and say public uh, void uh, resume game and here I think we are going to actually maybe not 
Okay, so here we can just say um, global script dot is paused is equal to false. So hopefully that will disable our our pause panel. So if we go and disable it ourselves for now, because at the start of the game we do not want it to be visible. So if we play, we should get our level as normal. If we press escape, we get our pause menu and if we press resume, okay, we need to change that because we forgot to do that. So let's go to canvas, main menu and change this from main menu to play game. No, what is it? Main menu, uh, resume game, that's the one. So if we play that, hopefully that will work. So let's pause the game straight away. Game pause, resume game, and we are still going to our main menu. So let's see. Uh, we changed the wrong one. Put that back on main menu and change the resume game from main menu to resume game. Okay, let's just double check this resume game, exit game, and main menu. So perfect. Okay, third time lucky. Let's see if it works. So pause our game resume game and then we can still carry on playing so pause our game resume game okay great so now let us um, what let's see what what else is on the list so we add in a game in game menu to quit to main menu which we've done and then add in the game over menu I think let's see so If we go to our ball, we need to try and figure out a way to get this ball to stop moving when our game is paused. So let's jump into our ball script and let's see. Okay, so if if the globals uh, if the game is not paused, then we want to add force to it, which is fine. But now we need to figure out how to actually pause the movement of the object. So let's go, let's see, let's go else, um, let's actually let's go to the internet and see, do I have internet open, I don't, so let's go here, chrome, and then we will drag this over here and say unity, unity, um, pause, uh, game object movement let's see what we get how to make a moving object temporarily pause that's what we want to do so let's see move uh, how to make it moving object temporarily pause hi or Okay, let's see, um, move, stop. Um. Okay, so that's not helpful at all. Pause movement, let's see. Let's, um, do we have anything here that looks even a little bit of what we want to do. Is pause equal to true update if input that get button okay. If input that get mouse button up uh, if is pause no that's not helpful. Okay, actually let's see. Okay, so basically that's what we've done, which is working for our pause menu, but not for our ball. So if we go and see how to basic pause system. Unity 2D get object. Um, Why is my mouse not working? Object 
spell that correctly, maybe get something different. Okay, so here's the answer. Is pause equal to false? So that's fine, that's what... Okay. Actually, let's just do this quick. Okay, I'm just going to jump into here. Yeah, I've done something similar to this in one of my previous games. I'm just going to have pop in here and see if we can see... Okay, I think I've got it. And if it works, it's actually only one uh, one line of code so let's see we might not do that here uh, let's go and say where do we pause the game uh, in here so that we want to pause that and then we want to go time dot time scale um, is equal to 0 F and then we want to do the same thing to unpause it, but we want to go and put 1F, I think. So that should now pause our game. Uh, that's gonna, that should pause the movement of, of our ball as well as still show up the pause panel. So let's see if this works. So we can play and if we press escape, that's fine. We press resume. Okay, so that's working perfectly fine. So that's perfect. That's all. I think that's all of our um, gameplay done. Now, let's see. So we die and then we can press play again and start. Okay, great. So now let's go ahead and do our game menu. And this game, we've got to set up a game menu. So let's see, I mean not our game menu, our game over menu. So what we want to do is we want to just, let's just go ahead and copy it and paste our pause panel and we'll say um, game over panel uh, like this and then, um, or maybe, actually no, yeah that should be fine. So let's go ahead and customize this. So first of all let's go ahead and change the pause menu to game over like this and then we'll set that from white to like a reddish color just because the game has ended and then what we want to do is we don't want to resume the game because the game will be over so let's go and delete that and then we'll just give two options main menu and exit the game and we'll move these up a bit but what we want to do is we want to change the background to a little bit of like a reddish color, maybe a dark red like that. Uh, highlighted color will make it a little bit lighter. Uh, press color will make just random red colors, just because it doesn't really matter. But you know, um, let's just customize it a bit. Maybe we could probably make this like an orange color, maybe just like that. Okay, so let's see. So on our game over menu, we want to either exit the game or go back to the main menu. So that's fine. So let's go and change this name quick to game over menu like that. Save that. So now we want to disable that because we only want that to happen when we have run out of lives. So let's see. In our global script, we have a value for lives. Okay, that's fine. So now to make this work, let's go ahead and create another script and call this game over script. And then we will create another empty object. And we will call that game over manager and then we can go ahead and add in our game or well not a game manager move that add in our game over script like that and what we want to do is 
very similar to our pause manager, we want instead of our, well, we're gonna want our global manager and our global script. So let's copy that. Let's go ahead and open our global, uh, our game over script first. Open that. Okay, so here we want our global manager and our global script, and we also want our game over panel. And then we, at the start of the, um, the what's it called? At the start of the when the scene first loads up, we want to get our global manager and our global script, just like that. So we need to uh, copy this as well. So we'll put that here, that, so that should be fine. And then what we want to do is in our update, we want to say if um, global script dot, what's called, um, dot lives is less than zero, I think. Yeah, we'll see if that works. If it's less than zero, we want to go and do all of this. So let's paste that. We want to pause, or we want to go game over panel instead of a pause panel. So game over panel set to active. So that's going to display our game over panel with our main menu and our exit game button. And then it's also going to pause the game play just because the ball is going to respawn and we don't want um, the player or yeah the player to be able to go ahead and start playing while the pause menu uh, the game over panel is is displayed um, and then we want to say well let's think about this so if the global if the lives is less than uh, zero well if it's equal to or less than zero that means the player has no lives obviously and the game should be over so okay yeah so if that's if that's not the case the game over panel needs to be set to false and then the time scale of the game needs to be set to one so that the, everything works so let's go back into our unity editor and Let's see, global uh, game over manager, we need to uh, drag in our game over panel as well as our global manager, just like that. So let's go ahead and see if this works. So we're just gonna die on purpose, um, just so that we can see what happens when we get to zero. Okay, so we need to change that, oh, do we? Okay, we also need to, first of all, let's just go ahead and set um, global script dot is paused is equal to true. That way we won't be able to move our paddle in the background like that. So that's fine. But now let's, let's have a look at this. So, we want to have well the get the player has three lives, so that means that um, they can die three times. So after when they die, they are allowed to respawn. So let's go ahead, die once. Okay, so we can respawn. Die a second time, and we can respawn again. And then we die a third time, and we've got zero lives left, but we can still respawn. So let's go ahead and respawn, which works, and we die. Okay. So that works nicely. Okay, so now we have a little bit of an issue. Whenever we pause the game, um, our well, whenever we pause the game and the the game is over, our both menus are going to show up. So let's see how we can figure this out. So under Pause Manager, we I can think of a simple fix to this, but let's see if it works. So, we only want to display the pause, um, the pause menu, when the game is paused, and not when the game is paused and the game is over. So let's see if if we try something in here. Let's go ahead and say if the global script dot is paused and um, global script. 
lives um, is not or well, let's say is greater than zero so that should hopefully that fixes it so that basically says that if the game is paused and the player has still got more than one life then we should display the pause menu if not don't display it so let's see play die play die play die lastly play die okay so that's working perfectly fine so I think that wraps that up so everything's working perfectly fine we can go back to our main menu you can restart the we can start the game again and then we can break blocks we still we get our score counter increasing every time we hit a block we get an extra five points and every time we die we we lose a life so let's see so perfect that works so let's go back to our main menu and I think I think that is officially this game finished so we could have finished this yesterday but we had been in uh, like an hour and a half stream already so I think my brain was a bit slow uh, it only took me like two seconds looking at it the, before I started the stream to figure it out so but anyway we're gonna have a sixth episode in the series anyway so yeah six episodes so that's fine we don't need that so let's see add in the game over menu which we've done and we're gonna go ahead and commit this so let's go ahead and save all of this save project and we need to say well these are all saved because they you can see by Italian that normally they have like a white circle if they're not saved um, but anyway let's go back if it wants to okay let's just close it save okay perfect so I think let's see everything has been checked off so that brings this season of our second um, game called breakout to a, an end so let's go and commit all of this back to oh, why is it so wide okay that looks better so let's see what we do um, game menus um, updates and bug fixes so what we did what do we did we the bugs when trying to display our panels what else do we do we also no there were three things let's go back to our notion and see what we did okay no we only did two things anyway okay so that's fine fix the bugs when trying to display our panels and added added in our game over panel okay so we'll go ahead and commit that we're gonna push that to the origin uh, why did I open that so let's go ahead and close that because there's no need for that and then we want to when this is done we just want to we're gonna head we're gonna go ahead and build our build and run out game we'll save this to my desktop just for now actually let's just go ahead and save it in yeah we'll save it in here so let's go 2d breakout game save that so that's gonna build the game so that we can launch the game from the desktop and see what what it's like hopefully it works perfectly fine the like the the ratio and the aspect ratio and all that might change a little bit we'll see maybe we, we forgot to set that up I think so hopefully it doesn't mess up our game and hopefully it's in a decent condition to just play from the desktop or from the folder that it's saved in so for now, let's see. Um, okay, perfect. Okay, let's go ahead and close that because that 
we're done with that. And then we can go ahead and close that. And then let's go ahead and open up our game wherever it's saved. So let's see. Open up a finder. Let's go to uh, where is it? Game development, Unity builds, um, breakout game in so many folders. So here's our game. So let's launch our game from our folder and it's opened up on the wrong screen. So we'll pop that over here. So this is our finished game. So now let's see if the exit game works. So if we press our exit game, we should be, yeah, we get, we close the game completely. So let's go ahead and open it up again. Okay, it's opened up on the up, up the wrong screen again. So drag that. So now let's play our game and see what happens. So there, there's our game. We've got our score of zero, our lives of three. If we break our blocks, they all work. We keep getting our score counter increases by five every time we break a block. And if we die, um, our lives get reduced by one and our ball now gets repositioned. So let's go ahead and do that again. Okay, so we die again. Let's go do that again. Die again. Okay. So now we should get a game over thing. So that's perfect. So you can see in the background our game has paused all our like our little what are they called? Little pieces of blocks that from our animation have paused as well and we can go back to our main menu. So that looks good. So everything is working nicely, including the exit the exit button which I didn't think would work, but that's working properly. So I think let's just have a look. Do we have anything else that we need to do? Let's pop back into here. Okay, so no, we do not. So I think that's it for this stream. So, well, not for this stream. Well, yeah, for this stream, but also for this series. This that this episode brings a close to our second series, which was the breakout game. Um, in the next series, I think I have planned to create like a mini version of Angry Birds, but instead of Angry Bird is Angry Birds, it's actually going to be Angry Zombies. So that's going to be quite exciting. We'll see if we can get that done. That should be starting in tomorrow's episode. Um, but yeah, this this was just a continuation from yesterday's episode. Uh, thankfully, we managed to get things done very quickly. The stream is going to be less than an hour, so that's perfect. So, um, if you guys are enjoying these videos, I have seen in the comments some of you think they're really good, and I appreciate the feedback. I'm trying to make things better as I go on. So, yeah, thank you so much for your feedback. If you're enjoying them, please do go ahead and sub subscribe to the channel and like the videos once you've watched them. And if you have any friends that are interested in game development, please recommend them to your friends so we can grow this channel as fast as possible. And I think I will wrap that up over here and I will see you in our next, ep uh, next not next episode, but our next series, which should start tomorrow, hopefully. So thank you so much for watching again and we will see you in tomorrow's episode. Goodbye. <laughs>